Today we're doing this skull tutorial that was requested many months ago. Hi, I'm Sheena Joy. If macrame is your jam, then subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Here's a quick tip for you. Put rubber bands on opposite sides of your wooden dowels so that it doesn't slip off the hooks. Tie all 11 cords on using the lark's head knot. With additional rope, we're gonna be tying vertical double half hitches. With our working cord behind the first set of cords, we're gonna loop it around with the loop on the right side. Then pull the tail end through the loop. We're gonna repeat this one more time because this is only half of our vertical double half hitch. So bring your cord over top and around and through the loop one more time. Then pull it taut and adjust your knot from there. I'm gonna show you one more in real time and then we're just gonna motor through. So you always wanna bring your working cord in behind your lead cords here just like so, and then we're gonna tie another vertical double half hitch. There are only two main knots in this wall hanging, but I will show you how to tie a slip knot at the end. Okay, I'm gonna speed through the rest of this row, and then I'm going to show you how we go back through the other direction. Okay, pull your working cord behind your lead cord and then we're going to do the exact same thing, only the opposite. Because I'm working from right to left now, you always have to have your working cord on the left side, the side in the direction that we're going. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on and we're going to go straight across to the very end of the row. Okay, now we're on the third row and that is when we're introducing a new color. So first I'm going to tie three of the vertical double white half hitches. And now the pattern calls for five pink vertical double half hitches. So pull our white working cord behind and out of the way and then we're going to tie our first pink vertical double half hitch. That's hard to say a few times in a row. So this is exactly like our first knot. Also if we run out of rope, this is what we have to do to add more. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly finish off these five pink knots and then I'll show you how we switch back again. Okay, to switch back to white again, we take our pink working cord and we pull it behind our project and we just switch, moving the pink cord behind and out of the way and then grabbing our white cord and carrying on from here. Remember to always have your working cord on the side of the direction that we're going. To save this video from being completely repetitious, I am just going to zoom past the whole project. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's trim up the tail ends here and flip it around so that we can deal with the mess in the back. So I'm gonna tie the ends together and then trim all the excess pieces of rope. On a small piece of butcher's twine, I'm gonna tie two slip knots on either side of the rope. And then I'm gonna secure them snugly onto our wooden dowel. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Also, here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.